Okay guys, we're going to do a quick Mr. Buys a Lot video unboxing. Uh, this arrived this morning. So it is a pallet of merchandise that I purchased um, from a dealer I know out in California. So this is just to give you guys a quick unboxing video. We're going to open up, you know, five or six or seven boxes on video. And then I'm going to uh, turn off the video and get back to work. But again, I uh, figured I'd bring you guys an unboxing video of some collectibles and interesting stuff. So I am going to pull boxes, put them on this cart, and video it. Okay. Okay. These are from 1994. Is that too much light coming in? Can you see it? Yep, there we go. Star Wars prints. least different one there very cool then you can be into the box out These are 1994 Lucasfilm. Seems to be all scenes from the original Star Wars movies. This could be more for his prints. Yep. More prints. That's what we bought. I think the guy had left in leftover stock 3,000 plus of these prints. Have a little bit of weight. I am going to assume these are more prints. And then we'll switch to a different style of box. So, pretty awesome, great color, fully licensed. Okay. And yeah, um, more pinback buttons, Jurassic Park. Styles of Jurassic Park pins in this group here. So that's 
Single diamond box full of pins. This is the second diamond box full of pins from Big Johnson's Bar and Casino. Independence Day. Motley Crue. The Simpsons. See more Jurassic Park. Uh, this is from Fern Gully. Bill and Ted's. So, looks like it's a, a mixed box, but a lot of Jurassic Park also. Which is awesome. The new movie was pretty good. So, all of these boxes, I believe, are pins. Yep. These are Disney and Looney Tunes. Right here. So Disney Looney Tunes and Our Gang. This is this entire side of the pallet is pinback buttons. These boxes all seem to be Star Wars. And then we'll get into the larger boxes and see what we have. Oh, these are from Disney Galleries. These are Disney Gallery prints. Uh, these are sold in the Disney stores. marathon course map from Disneyland so these are fully marked Disney so these are all prints that were sold in the theme parks and at the Disney stores uh, from those parts of the Caribbean uh, it's pretty awesome from Disneyland Also, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates, yes. More Pirates of the Caribbean. Nemo and Dory, Tomorrowland, Disneyland Park. Mickey, somebody, oh, Mickey with a doctor. This is a, another Disney theme park print. I believe it's going to be the same one. Yep. Mickey 
painting as usual. Those are kind of cool. What's our timing on that? 10 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, so we we'll make about a 15 minute video. I have no clue what's in all of the boxes. And when I bought it, it was supposed to be um, a bunch of Disney prints, the pin back buttons, which is the last of those, movie posters, newer and older. Uh, obviously, I see as I'm unrolling the bottom one is a Star Wars. I see Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin. Episode 3. So, movie posters, rolled in tubes. Blue Fist, so this is probably another Star Wars poster from the movie. There's some nice water boy, bug play. can see down into the box there's banners um, along the side there's more flat posters we have a few more large boxes open up one more of these to see bunch of 1950s lobby cards and posters somewhere. So actually Buffett well, just opened his older stuff. Vintage poster lot number one. Watership Down. So it's from 1978, not super old. It's got a bunny on it. Quiet Man from 1957. This looks to be a three sheet of size. Definitely a three sheet. So, but 1957, Quiet Man. Quiet Man again, with a re-release from 1957. This is probably a different style because it's yellow. Oh, actually the original boxes. has John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, Barry Fitzgerald, and Ward Bond. This is a six sheet for the Quiet Man. Should probably look at the bag before I open. Kind of cool scandal with the bottom three sheet burglars fuzz. As you can see, they were originally priced a hundred dollars. Some of these, uh, Alien Empire. Oh, so this is a uh, bad Tracy versus Phantom Empire from 1952. So I'm guessing it is, oh, 3A, so it's D Tracy, so it's Dick Tracy versus the Phantom Empire, 1952. So that's pretty awesome. Three sheets. 
Those are very cool. Kind of excited about those. Green Buddha with Wayne Morris and Mary Germain. Three sheets. Um, Bobby Display. Raiders of the Deadline, William Boyden, also known as Hopalong Cassidy. So these are lobby cards. You can see, originally they had $200 on the set of three of these. I believe there were some original eight cards in that set. Uh, that's when the labels came off. So it looks like Ghost Riders of the Week three sheet. So as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch more to take apart. I don't want to make the video too long. Um, I know in here there are Spider-Man movie banners signed by Stan Lee. I believe we have six of them or seven of them signed by Stan Lee and Kirsten Dunst. Um, so those will be very cool, and then there's supposed to be a lot more 50s movie posters and lobby cards and more Disney prints. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick unboxing video. Uh, we're going to finish undoing this today and uh, getting it ready to, to be sold. I think I have all the Star Wars prints already sold. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and you hit the like button. And we'll continue to do videos as we buy new merchandise and get in new uh, new loads of, of collectibles and antiques and buy out stores and inventory. Okay. Thank you.